In California, the stacking of incentives is really important. I think that accelerates the market considerably and gets past that activation energy to move a market. Once that activation energy is achieved, we can really reduce a lot of those incentives and I'd suggest other states to take a look at LCFS credits and new purchase uh, rebates as well. I think the incentives in other states, if comparable to California, would really accelerate the adoption of electric vehicles. While I think um, DC fast charging networks are a critical component, I think a lot of range anxiety, and I speak from a personal experience, really is uh, overcome in the first few months of understanding and owning an electric vehicle. A lot of range anxiety is felt in the very early stages of an EV adoption. And as you get more comfortable with the vehicle itself, you understand and are able to really take full advantage of it. I think electric vehicle drivers will primarily charge and ideally will charge in the place that is best for the grid in that given location. In California, charging at work makes the most sense because it's aligned with an over solar production. In other uh, areas such as Europe, charging at home during high wind penetration and high wind production is very important to align that over production at night uh, with the charging at home. I think the vehicle grid integration is really important. California is taking a very strong lead on integrating vehicle charging alongside with the grid and I think that uh, dynamic relationship is very important. I think that renewables are a perfect integration with electric vehicles and there's a reason for that. that Renewable energy production is unpredictable and variable, and you combine an unpredictable um, generation with a very variable load. And being able to vary the speed of charging um, or the timing of charging is very important. Allowing access to both work and home for charging infrastructure is ideal. And if you look at the leadership position that Europe has taken in our parent company, EDF, has led a lot of vehicle to grid initiatives throughout Europe and I think that'll be a very important uh, component as we move forward. I think wireless and induction charging is certainly a critical pathway going forward and I think if we pass, uh, look forward in the future we will see it, that as a ubiquitous solution. I think the lessons learned from the electric vehicle industry up to this point will be very important as we trend towards autonomy in the future. Some of those are related to permitting or community involvement. I think there are always questions when new technology arrives and a lot of it really is starting from baseline and walking people through the solution and the reasons why that this is a preferred new baseline and new standard. Uh, as the three revolutions has continued to reference, um, automation is a key component. If we look forward into the future, a combination of ride sharing, autonomy, and electrification is really going to be the future of um, transportation.